Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Randolph DiMalanza with another video tutorial. Hey, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you very quickly how to design your level 2 pages. These are the pages that are um, seen by a website viewer um, coming directly from your home page. So like for example, you see these um, uh, navigational elements right here. These are on the home page. If we click that, whatever we see, that's going to be the level 2 page. All right, and so in this example, what we're going to do is we are going to use the design that we created in our first video demonstration called a quick design homepage demonstration, and that can be found on my blog. All right, so you need to establish your homepage first. Um, that's going to dictate the look and feel of all the all of the other pages, and so that's what we're going to do right now. All right, so. When you have your design, the first thing that you want to do is pull up your grid, and you're going to borrow that grid from the home page. I'm going to press Apple colon, or press Control colon if you're on the PC, but I'm going to just keep saying Apple colon because that's just what I happen to be using right now. You want to be sure you pull up your grid, and uh, you have your rulers up, and if you look here, um, I've actually grabbed my guides, and I... Um, moved them into my design just to see if I could find the alignment uh, that exists in the previous design that I borrowed. So if you look here, I put grids right here to outline the picture and I've divided the picture into five columns and I've also put grid lines right underneath the navigational elements and also here at the top of um, the navigational elements right over here. So you can see here that we have structure and this is how we're going to start. This grid is very important. We'll probably talk about this later on in the future. Um, it makes design easy uh, from usability standpoint. When a viewer looks at a good design that uses a grid, they feel comfortable. And so when people are, uh, when people feel comfortable um, uh, looking at a design, they're more likely to engage with it just because it just feels better. All right. It's also professional. Things look neat. All that good stuff. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we got to do, I'm going to go ahead and um, hide my grid lines right here, Apple colon. And uh, we don't need um, this Madonna picture anymore. All right. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to clean things up here. I'm going to remove that. And so here's our initial design that we borrowed, and we're going to hide that. All right. So I have a layer here where I just have some black squares and they're just covering all of the elements that we don't need anymore. All right. We're going to replace these elements with ours. So if you look here, I just have a layer with those black bars in there and it's going to cover everything. All right. And so let's go ahead and replace some of the elements. The first thing that we're going to replace is the navigational elements at the top. So if you look right here, we have the nav navigational elements from uh, the Mini Cooper. We're going to replace it with our own. And where are you? Okay, it's right here. So they're right there. And so what you're going to do is you're going to type your own navigational elements. And um, I recommend that you try to, as best you can, follow the uh, proportions and the fonts that are used here as much as possible. Um, you know, try to make it look nice and clean and stray from using crazy fonts that are just really unreadable. All right, so just stick to nice easy fonts right here. So this font that I'm using right here is called Verdana and uh, I use that a lot. That's one of the first fonts that I use. It's nice and clean. I use it a lot for clients. People don't complain and so you know just because it's just extremely clear. So let's go ahead and use that. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn this layer on and hide my hide the original elements. There we go. I'm gonna pull up my grid and I'm gonna move my navigational elements to an intersection of the grid. So in this case it's gonna be right here. Alright, so there's one way you can use the grid. It really answers a lot of questions as to where you should put um, elements in your design. Alright, so that looks pretty cool. Let's press Apple colon to toggle. Yeah. Okay. And let's say now that we are um, designing this demo reel page for her. Alright, so when we click this demo reel, we're going to see like a little video for her right through here all right so to do that what I want you to do is to create some sort of placeholder and I have one right here that I've already made I just basically opened up a new file in Photoshop and you can look, look at the size right here it's 425 by 344 it's basically a white square with text in it that's so that I know um, where this is placed so for example if I press Apple colon I know where to put this all right, so I, if you look right here, I'm just kind of moving it around. But if I press Control uh, colon, I have uh, I can actually play with where I want to place this. Maybe I could put it right here. Maybe I could put it right here. See how that looks. Maybe I could put it right there with some 
text. Maybe I could put it, uh, put like a little, put the video right there and then put like a little title or heading right there, which is also good usability. You want to be able to put some sort of heading to let the person know what page they're on. Okay. Um, but I'm going to um, err towards the easy design. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off and I'm going to go ahead and center this placeholder right in the middle of this gray box. I kind of like that right there. I'm going to make it clean right here. Maybe I'll put a caption right down there. Um, let's go ahead and turn on this layer right here. There's also the copyright symbol. Where are we going to put that? Well, let's go see. Let's go turn on our grid. I'll put colon. Maybe we can put the copyright tag right over here. Or we can put it right over here. Or maybe we put it right there. Right right there in the center. Since since our design is a little bit more, it's airing more on this uh, being aligned uh, in the center. We'll just put the copyright symbol uh, right there in, in the middle. Okay, and then one more thing here. When you design your level two pages, um, I mentioned earlier that you have to put some sort of heading to let people know what page they're on, right? And um, people read from left to right top to bottom so you know kind of put stuff up here where people can see it but uh, what I also do is I look at the navigation and I take the uh, the page that we're on in this case we're on the demo reel page and I'll go ahead and give that a different color okay so for example what color are you gonna use well let's see let's go highlight it and um, let's go up here to the properties palette I'm gonna go here and click this white box to set my color you're gonna see the eyedropper come out and I'm gonna go ahead and um, sample a color that already exists in my design. I don't want to pick anything different. We want something nice and simple. All right, so it's going to turn it to that pink, which is cool. I think Madonna would like that. And let's do, let's make it a little bit lighter. That's okay. All right. Yep, so there you have it. That's how you design a level two page. We're going to be saving this out as a JPEG. And um, later on, we'll be programming um, this JPEG in Dreamweaver with just simple hotspots. Um, we're not going to slice it up too much. Um, but to save it out as a JPEG, you're going to go to File, Save for... I pressed the wrong button there. <laughs> Sorry about that. File, Save for Web and Devices. And you want to save it out as a JPEG. And um, I usually choose High. And when you do that, be sure you pay attention to the size down here. So if you look at the size of this image, it's 28.44K, which is nice and small. It's going to load very quickly on broadband and fast connections. Um, let's go ahead and click Save. Let's put this on our desktop, and I'm going to call this uh, Demo demo Reel. And we'll put this on the desktop for right now. Uh, click Save, and it's good. Um, so you basically want to do the same thing for your profile link. Right? So what you're going to do is you're going to replace that, this area, with some information about yourself, right? Uh, three paragraphs, two paragraphs, just getting something nice and general. Don't get, don't reveal too much in, intimate information about yourself. Um, and then there's also the contact page and where you can put your, uh, I don't know, like your email or something like that. So when people click contact, like let's go grab that. When people click contact, maybe your email is on there. Let's go make this bigger. So something like that. So Madonna at email.com. Don't be emailing her because that doesn't exist. All right. Maybe someone, maybe someone has that email address. I'm not sure. Um, you can also put your Twitter account there. Whatever. Let's go select this. All right, let's go ahead and align that to the center. So this would be her, let's say this is her contact page. Nice and simple. Uh, change that to pink. We're on her contact page. So Madonna, Twitter. All right, so put your information there. Save it out as a JPEG also. Save these um, JPEGs, um, and I'll show you how to organize them in the next tutorial. And hopefully, uh, this helped you out. Any questions? OK, you guys, thanks for listening. Um, have a great day. This is Randolph over in...